first of all, excited for our players, proud of our players. Uh, get to sing that special fight song in the locker room when they work so hard and uh, you know finally get an opportunity, you know, with all the hard work that they put into it to experience victory. And uh, you know, if you look at the game, situational football. Our defense did a good job of turn, taking the ball away two times, and we were able to offensively to turn it into 14 points. We were four for four in the red zone, uh, three of those being touchdowns. And, and really, you know, that's what it takes to play winning football. Uh, we held them without a touchdown until about 6:45 left in the game. You know, we knew their explosive offensive football team, averaging 263 yards throwing the ball, we were able to hold them to 160. I thought our defensive line was able to apply pressure. Uh, and then what can I say about special teams and Trevor Daniel? Uh, I believe he had six punts of 50 yards or more, was able to flip critical field position, particularly in the middle of the fourth quarter when we had some coming out situations. And when you're able to flip the field like that, that that's a difference maker. And then, you know, I thought <clears throat> we had some momentum going in John Kelly's 20-yard touchdown run to really make it 17-3, to three, really sparked the momentum in the third quarter with about five minutes to go. So I think our team showed some grit, some resolve with all the injuries, especially up front in our offensive line. I can't say enough about those individuals. We had six individuals available tonight. And, uh, you know, it's resolve and it's resiliency, and there's all these little things that these kids have been battling through. And uh, just glad that we are able to get the victory tonight. So I'll answer any questions you all may have. Danny. Coach, I didn't even have a full second team on the offensive front. I noticed in pregame. Is that the worst you've ever seen for, for front as far yes, as Yes, I've uh, – I don't think there's any coach on our staff that's been through it like this, especially when we started the season. That was our, you know, best depth situation we've had here ever. And now we're down to six. And uh, I give those individuals credit. Mike and Austin. Coach, when did you have a chance to talk with Will and his parents about the potential of playing this week and what was their response to that? Well, Will has been ready to go for a number of weeks now. And, uh, you know, so he's been ready and he wants to play. And, you know, to be very candid with you, he has to play. Uh, and he's, you know, we've been saying all along he's one, one snap away. And Will has a <clears throat> quiet confidence about himself. He doesn't get rattled much. Uh, it's hard to really get an emotional response out of him and, and the kids believe in him. And, you know, I thought Jarrett did some really, really good things at the beginning of the game, throwing the football, standing in the pocket. I thought he continued to grow and develop as well until, you know, having to leave the game. You know, he, he could have went back in at the end of the game, but, uh, again, um, where we're at, we had a lot of confidence in the role. Awesome. Coach, you touched on it a little bit with the turnovers, but with the offenses banged up as they were, how big was it for the defense just to get some short fields? Monumental. You're exactly right. You know, Emmanuel Mosley's interception really started it and, you know, be able to have great field position, but then also once we got that great field position, turn it into touchdowns and not have to kick field goals. I thought, you know, Aaron Medley did some really good things from a kickoff standpoint and then made the field goal when we needed it, but the defense stepped up and generated the field position when we needed it. It was huge. Blake and Jimmy. But was it Jarrett's ankle that caused him to go out of the game? I'm not going to comment on uh, injuries from here on out uh, to protect our players. But again, he, you know, we expect him to be ready to go. Jimmy. Uh, regarding Will McBride going forward, what is your confidence level with him? We have a lot of confidence in him. We've seen it. Uh, you know, really since August training camp, we've really seen it. And again, we've tried to throw him into some very challenging situations in practice. And he's very steady, very poised, very calm. And, uh, you know, that's what we saw tonight. And I mean, you, you look at the situation he was put into, that's a challenging situation. And, uh, you know, there was no panic, very calm, very poised. Jesse, <clears throat> Steve, Patrick. Even if, even if you can't address specifics. Callaway's injury, is that, is that one that you guys may be out with for a couple weeks? I'll know a little bit more. Uh, I haven't even spoken to the trainer right now. I have came right here, so I don't know. I'll know a little bit more on Monday. Steve? Just with the offensive issues you had, just how critical was it for them to 
the way your defense played, particularly to get turnovers. Oh, it was yeah. huge. And, you know, to generate the turnovers, but also with generating the turnovers, the field position. The field position was key. You know, again, it sparked some momentum, and uh, we needed them to step up, and they were able to do it. And then, like I said, I was excited for the kids that we were able to turn that into seven points. Coach, you, you kind of touched on this after the game last week, but what does it mean to you that your team continues to play hard and the effort continues to be there, given everything that's going on? I, I appreciate you bringing that up because I see it every day with these kids. I see the grind. I see the attitudes, I see the practice habits, I see everything, it's the culture that's kicked in. They understand work ethic, they understand what it's all about. And that's why it was particularly pleasing to be able to kind of sit back and watch them sing the fight song. Uh, because again, winning is very, very hard. It's very, very difficult. And uh, you never can take winning for granted. So I was excited to, you know, that they're able to experience that with all the hard work they put into it. Mike, can you put it in context what, what a opening game kickoff return like Evan Berry, what, what did that do for a team as far as yeah. jump starting? Well, obviously, momentum, uh, energy, uh, excitement, uh, expectations. Uh, you know, that's what we expect when he's back there. Obviously, we all know he's very, very dynamic. Um, and again, just the momentum in, in the field position, and that's if you really look at our starting field position, the last month has not been very, very good. And when you have short fields, you have to take advantage of it. And we were able to do that tonight, but I thought that sparked us immediately. Did you follow up on that? Yeah. yeah did you follow up Tyler, Tyler Bird had some catches? Is it possible we could see him back in the return game again? Yes. Dan and then Michael. Coach, with regard to the defense, could you also speak to limiting them, I think, to 118 yards rushing? Yeah. And also, I think they one big play. Yeah, and, and uh, you bring up two great points. First of all, the, the rushing, and, and obviously we have a lot of respect for the quarterback, and the, and the running back is a really dynamic football player. And we really challenged our guys up front defensively to really, you know, change the line of scrimmage. And, uh, you know, they do some challenging things with quarterback run game and some things like that. So to be able to hold them to that, you know, that many yards, Russian, uh, again, is a tribute to everyone. And you know, even though we missed some tackles late, you know, uh, wasn't pleased that we gave up 95 yards at the end of the game and let them go down and score. But you take away that one possession, and defensively, uh, again, we did what it what it takes to win football games. Hey, Michael, um, just speaking more on the defensive effort, um, you had another mobile quarterback issue today, and. For the most part, they were able to contain him and keep him um, in the pocket. Um, do you think that comes from the experience that they've had earlier this season against all the mobile quarterbacks? Yeah, I do. And, uh, you know, we talked about with the line of scrimmage game up front, also being able to keep the points of pressure on the quarterback and not let him escape, you know, particularly in the red zone. If you really look at a lot of red zone passes, it's when you lose contain on the quarterback and you don't keep them in the pocket. And uh, so we challenged them not only to be disruptive up front, but to keep them in the pocket. And that was a critical factor of being able to keep him in there. David Marshall. <clears throat> uh, Coach, if you had had to go beyond Riley Locklear, who would have played on the offensive line? You. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, Joey Cave is a young man that we moved over to to uh, offense, um, you know, that would be able to go. And we had a few others that, that would be ready to go, but really be unfair to them because they've had very, very limited reps uh, again. And that's why, you know, we've asked a lot out of these kids of playing a lot of different positions in practice and all that. And you know what, that's football. And, you know, they showed some true heart and some gr true grit tonight. Joe Keeler would be another individual. Uh, that would have been ready to go as well. Coach, obviously frustrations uh, throughout the last, what, month with the losing streak. With the win, though, how, how important is that moving forward? Do you think it just takes a win uh, to spark this team? Well, we have another great challenge. I think we're playing one of the hottest teams in college football right now in Missouri going on the road. As we all know, great, great quarterback, great receivers uh, can run the football. Uh, you know, they're playing good defense. And, uh, Going on the road, another 7:30 night game is going to be a challenge. Uh, and but again, 
it's a lot easier to prepare coming off a of victory. And again, these kids have worked so hard and they've not let any of the clutter or distraction or anything affect internally what goes on in the Anderson Training Center every single day. And uh, I guess that's where I'm really proud of them is, uh, you know, just their whole mindsets and belief in our football program. Last two, Ryan and Mike. Coach, just uh, anything more you can say on, on Congo suspension and why it just be a one-game yeah. deal? It's a one-game suspension. It was violation for, of team rules. And, and do you expect any of those offensive linemen who are out to be back next week? Or I'll know more tomorrow. Yeah. That was my question. All right. Yeah, cool. I'll know more tomorrow. Thanks, guys. Thank you.